At the recently opened, casual dining restaurant Martin's Kitchen on Zion Road, you'll find an extensive menu of pizza, tacos, ribs, and churros. That's because Chef Cheng Wei Leong previously worked at restaurants including Super Loco, Su Lo Vai and the now closed Salt, Grill Sky Bar and Brasserie Wolf, so he's channeled his know-how in European and Mexican cuisines into his menu. But there's one more aspect of the menu that's interesting. And that's the dishes that are hawker-inspired. Lei Cha, or hawker thunder tea rice, for example, has been reinterpreted into a chopped salad featuring greens, like preserved radish. Endive and haricot, to be mixed up with peanuts, tofu and spices and drizzled with a matcha vinaigrette dressing. There's also a barramundi dish, with the crispy fish, served in a thunder tea broth. The pride of the hawkers, yam abacus seeds, is reimagined into a dish of yam gnocchi, which, instead of potato, features yam that gives the handmade gnocchi its toothsome bite. The gnocchi are served with leek, shimeji mushroom, dried shrimp, dried saps and sakura abi in a secret sauce. And then there's hawker noodles, featuring springy handmade noodles with pork marinated in fermented tofu. The dish is served with a tingling hot sauce made with habanero and chipotle peppers. Cheng has poured his heart into these dishes. Although he is hawker, no one taught me to cook hawker dishes. The 34-year-old said. His fondest growing up memories are of the hawker dishes his aunt used to cook at home. It was only when she died a year ago that he began to dabble in hawker cooking. It's all from memory and research, he said. And his motivation is to pay tribute to his aunt. It was an uphill battle. Firstly, hawker cuisine is limited in Singapore. Not many people know about hawker food and culture as we are a minority dialect. The most famous hawker dishes are the yam abacus seeds, hawker yong tau fu and thunder tea rice, but few are aware, for instance, that dishes like stewed pork belly with preserved vegetables. Pan kai and duck with salted vegetable soup have hawker origins, Ching said. Secondly, hawkers are purists when it comes to their food. Even Cheng's mother, a very traditional lady, did not approve of his fusion dishes at first. She said, what is this? You are embarrassing the hawkers, Cheng recalled. In their culture, men don't go into the kitchen, only ladies do. The ladies ask you to stand aside, he said. Even fermenting rice wine was something he had to do in secret. Eventually, though, his mother came down again with a pure heart to give his cooking another try. Cheng's earnestness is evident in the fact that at Martin's Kitchen, we only buy raw products and make 99% of our food in-house, even down to sauces like mayonnaise. He told us. The hawker noodles, for example, are laboriously made by hand using a wooden chitora, a traditional Italian pasta cutter. This lends more texture to the noodles and helps them absorb the sauce better. Other interesting dishes include Kong Bok Bao Tacos, where tortillas wrap the braised pork belly instead of steamed buns, Hokkien Mee, Squid Ink Tagliatelle, and a dessert of Hokka Mochi Chibo. There's even a thunder tea cocktail, blending whiskey with artisanal rice milk, matcha, black tea, and a savory garnish of crispy silverfish and crunchy peanuts. For now, more traditional hawker dishes are beyond Cheng. But he hopes to learn more skills, like how to make hawker yong tau fu. His goal at Martin's Kitchen is to make hawker food more accessible to young people, hoping that through exposure to elements of hawker cooking in a nice sit-down environment, they'll be more open to learning about and understanding a culture that could slip away in time without its dedicated champions.